We are between eclipses and it may feel weird. From one hand, we are in Taurus season, what usually feels stable and comfy and very appreciative. But the opposite lunation of Scorpio creates greediness and insecurities and specifically that is coming with a lunar eclipse to come in a week. We have already this sort of axis in May 2022 and in the end of 2021. And we already sort of experienced with those lunation eclipses to be ready to start doing another kind of work that I'm going to mention. Uh, in the next months but e this slide that started in april 20th with the hybrid solar eclipse in aries last degree and one day after already we are in taurus is a very significant one to begin a new identity and a new path a new project of our life in a way a new mission when big part of what we were doing so far is going to fall apart big part not all because collectively we are preparing for pluto in aquarius and it's different scenario so of course we are uh, exclusively in patreon and core community as every monday with the world weekly astrology to look a week ahead, to reflect collective consciousness, market-wise. If you watch this video outside of those places, consider to join and to enjoy from more exclusive content and to support the community and what gives me the power to do those videos. And let's start discussing of what is happening in sky and what is happening in the world feels that things are sort of stagnant at least by looking in the market but even that people would expect market to fall already and everything is crashing the dollar is crashing and all this we are seeing another phenomenon and it's also putting people uh, in a more frustration and tense mode first of all we need to realize that with pluto in aquarius it's official we are dealing not just with humans we are dealing with extraterrestrial and call them ai call them artificial intelligent call them artificial being homonoids that are participating in the game so if someone or two people thinking smart and everybody will say the same thing usually the chess player will do the other way now you don't need elite that you are saying they are uh, stopping the market they are the who are those they now it's clear i'm telling to my friends that always asked me during the conspiracies of uh, 2020 who are they the artificial intelligent call it a mecca call it jessica call it whatever robot that is operating in a very quick milliseconds scan of emotions and the more we are aware to our emotions maybe we will be able to uh, win with this and the highest we can go to nature of structure is astrology so <laughs> beyond uh, what other sort of analytics to show uh, a result so now we're going to start looking in the chart and realizing what is happening. As I'm looking on today, the Sun and Rahu, North Node, are in four degrees exactly as I'm recording this. This is taking the collective consciousness into a new realm of, um, of, I need to be careful with this because a few weeks also Jupiter will arrive to this position and already Mercury is retrograde in uh, Taurus and going to meet this around this position 
Uranus is already in Taurus since 2018. It's all about economy. And with the Sun and the North Node in 4 degrees just for one day. When Saturn is also doing in 4 degrees a trine. This is about control. Are you see, feeling stable? Taking control on what you have? <laughs> but because Saturn is in Pisces and is ruling your spiritual truth, mastering the beyond the physical, mastering your mind, mastering your fears, mastering your what you considered in the past to be miserable or a victim of situation. With this beautiful trine of today, April 24th, is set, it's even if I felt it already from yesterday, is about contain yourself. You are self-authority. You don't you are not depended in um in non-natural uh, um, system on you or in the needs of people it's it goes even beyond what i'm saying is about maturity but is a sort of a collective message day of take authority on your life this also creates a feel of stability whatever is right now feels like oh my goodness it looks different uh, i need those people i'm alone uh, well, well, uh, this thing stay with your resources connect to your source connect to your soul source you are going to be okay if you are going to work with integrity with your own truth allowing the evolution of the north node in taurus taking us to a new realm even we don't know what this money or what this value, but remembering our value. This kind of people good for me. This kind of places not good for me. This kind of food good for me. This not sort of knowing um, and holding. It's like holding the horse by sort of security, even that you are in, we are entering to a tunnel that looks dark and just keep cool keep cool walk you know what you have you know the protection you know you know the movement that you can break the nose to someone if someone will jump on you or here it's like come back to your center this is the day this is explaining also how we are seeing that market run to fall but are not falling and this is the play right now of the collective consciousness cloud that this is a collective and you know four four is the result of the 22 of the 222 that we always saw in 2022 and in 2020 that it was the saturn pluto in 22 now it's in four it's like a result and the north node is also the north node and the sun in four degrees is about create structure even that this one okay the next days also saturn and the north node will continue in the four but today the sun is collective as i'm just recording is keep on going with your truth with your integrity with your soul mission that is beyond what you know and this is about past karma paid um that we should let lose we should let the, the the skin to shell of whatever needs to fall and it's also speaking about the last moment of government and different authorities authorities that how they are holding and going into this unknown this is a very fragile time for everybody on the same time mercury our mind is looking back looking on the sun looking on uh, the north node in, in in the sun mercury is going to be invisible by the sun uh, arriving to this position and it's already yeah it's already invisible um but it's going to be combusted and mercury in taurus very i'm i born with mercury in taurus that's why i'm speaking a lot uh, and 
and doing what I'm doing related to our body and economy. <laughs> That's what this part of my career and my focus. And this is now in the collective. Everybody are worried and doing the calculations and the navigation through the economy, through their finances, through the stability. And very well thing to do is to look at your body. Your body is another part of investment. Your main device without a good body, you cannot do much. Even if I'll give you all the money. With broken leg, you cannot travel to Ibiza. <laughs> with, with problem in your eye, you cannot go to the beautiful trek in the sea. So our body is our first temple. And what we are putting inside it? By food and by uh, energy the messages we are getting, the involvement, is all influencing on its quality. How you are keeping your iPhone or the most advanced device that you love so much, you are protecting it, you put on it protection, you are carrying it with care. Or some people, even how they are treating their dogs with a very good race, they will give it the most premium food. They will give it the most best condition. Why? Because you want it with you. We need to want our body with you. Our body with us. And sometimes we are so worried with the head. And we forgot to breathe. We forgot to focus on our stomach. Or we forgot to focus on other side of our body and to embrace it or just to enjoy ourselves sitting calm in a place eating carrot i don't know sometimes <laughs> or even eating steak but this is very torus thing that we are gaining time to calculate the quantum leap that is going to be open for all of us and it's going to be major change and 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 instabilities in the markets during may as we saw in last year as well maybe we are getting prepared mercury going retrograde looking on the gate looking on the options that we cannot still consider as we just saw today the four degrees of um Saturn, Sun, and the North Node, Mercury looking on them, and we are going to accept a new standard and stability. On the same time, we need to tap in to our talents, what we have inside. When everything is shut down, or, you know, it's very scary, uh, things to say almost saying shut down is almost saying everything to die okay okay i'll die okay so i don't need to worry anymore but in another situation that our confidence is coming from what you know for what you have inside you have the talents to to fish and you have the talent to i don't know uh, uh, to make new friends or to to teach or whatever it's part of your values your talents are your values and this is another side of taurus so this time of mercury retrograde is play with your hobbies go back to find what you have inside you what you like doing it's beyond money only and we need to prepare to a period that money with the way we considered before is not going to buy us all what we wanted we are having here ability to create so the last days of jupiter in uh, aries is also uh, going to emphasize and it's going to cover the eclipse place is be very bold with all what you have it's like go with your strongest with your pure identity or the new identity is also about expanding your identity 
expanding your identity uh, to give you more options, more routes. As I spoke in previous video, get other residencies or ask for, get permission to more things that suddenly your little box identification, I just need, I'm from here, I need to be there. Is something about how you want, about your real strong, vital power to push you forward, part of your instincts. Is about connecting to your galactic identity, what you are beyond what you look in the mirror and see, what you are as um, what sort of energy you are that you can manifest that you could realize here on earth and this is your value <laughs> this is so much things here in the spiritual level about value and feeling abundant and rich with saturn in pisces is more about dominant dominating our inner world and this inner world is going to be imitated by exterior experiences even through the screen and other crazy technology. When you have a vivid dream, you feel that is real. Is not. Our brain is capturing stimula stimula stimulation and reality in the same way sometimes. And with good devices and investing in technology in a way, you bring yourself such a real experiences that you could have a soul evolution sometimes quicker <laughs> or go farther because you are creating the ideal condition for your soul experiencing through those things. I know that is a very... Um, a confusing topic to some of you that still resisting the idea of you will own nothing and be, will be happy but this is Taurus time is preparing us for own not nothing but much less and I think that all what you really need to think that you own is your body is your soul is your consciousness all the need for our external baggage in some extent is important yeah but sometimes we are going much beyond um, the basic needs and going to possessions and this is also speaking about territories that the earth still have karma for people to pay so many evil behaviors of some countries invading others and killing others for the name of God uh, is very a uh, reminder for who is the who is the, who is who is really ruling the world how humans can use the ignorance of others and to come with muscles and to show others no now you need to obey me in that way all those are reminders that no one can control you if you know your value and you know your true as you are going inside and you become invisible. So even robbery in the street become less because as you are become less possessive, you are a free person. It's much freer to go in the beach sort of naked, you know, so you can really look in the eyes of others and without fear that someone is going to take you something. <laughs> and this is a very important thing message is about convert your possession to invisible and only those that will arrive to your heart or you know you could actually reach you need to know what values you have inside this is the main message of now the markets to my observation isn't going to do much this is so much stagnation and stability with the four of this week and with this uh, trine of the north node that is actually helped by the universe that is giving us a step on the ladder to confidently feel that um, despite of 
the emotion uncertain emotion and this the, the psyche feeling that things are going to change drastically and we should step into the natural uh, stability of our body the breath the heart the food and the daily uh, um, uh, no, not routine but all the the stable things that life can show us like you know that in the middle of the day you could enjoy from the sun and uh, enjoying from what actually is permanent from the nature and from your habit or whatever you created it's like use what you have this is also about the thing you don't need any more uh, new things right now now build with what you have and many things that is about building is building with your knowledge building you have this computer you already listened to the astrology of the last uh, two years and you upgraded yourself and you put them the invent you are preparing for another level of communication because what is coming after taurus is gemini another kind of communication of transfer of uh, of um, um, uh, of trade uh, of payment okay the payment changes and uh, we're getting to a very uh, important uh, changes in june july um, with what i'm seeing uh, in astrology and the change of the nodes uh, to Aries Libra, what will change the focus and Venus is going to be the ruler, the depositor of the south node and we lead for a lot of bankruptcies and divorce will be in, high, in, uh, in, in, in very high demand and also fall of values of many uh, fake materialistic um, uh, um, factors including can be related with the dollar and we are heading for new innovation because in this degree also all, all those degrees that I don't need to show you even the day we are still between eclipses and in this weekend, uh, the April 30th, at by the way, here from Paraguay, where I am, uh, is going to be election. And this is going to be the moon uh, opposing Saturn. So very interesting for uh, such a day of election, but it's also sort of election in the universe, dramatically, about... Um, who is going to what is going to serve us with what we are remaining what has use and as i'm saying in one year from now jupiter and uranus will meet around this place where we are looking right now and this is the new cycle of new innovation and new discoveries that some of them may arrive before and some of them will come after from april 2024 that will change completely the way that we are believing or our belief system that also create uh, our dependency and possessive uh, uh, behavior to things and people and uh, life uh, life purpose definition jupiter and uranus really can help us to rechange to change our belief system and the life purpose definition so if so far you were working for jp morgan <laughs> suddenly you will realize that you came here to serve dolph dolphins you know it could be a shift that with whatever will happen in the crash suddenly oh my goodness my role is completely other thing if you were um, an administrative um, uh, worker in any office uh, of a public uh, of any public uh, office suddenly you may realize that your role is 
Yeah. To educate people in Africa. Just went extreme with this. But things are not coming alone <laughs> most of the time. Sometimes if you are doing the work with the astrology of now, you may feel the call inside you. And you may voluntarily start going out from things and not waiting for the event, the event to uh, show you the new fact. We need less and we have needs. We have much, we have very important needs, but maybe not the needs that they showed us, they or the 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 the, the mentality of the last generation and um, and culture um yeah jupiter and uranus by the way is also a change of culture jupiter is the culture rule is the internationality and is a mixture of people and belief system far travels Um, when we are when we accept life differently and maybe even okay so not bitcoin so far we also united ourselves um, with the bitcoin uh, concept um, and this bitcoin concept and the crypto and anti-institutional thing also came along with the anti-vax and all the things that actually was very important to to have a topic that came together with different qualities. And Taurus is speaking about qualities. We are ready here to start agreeing on a new or to, to change the belief system. And I said already many times before, and I tried always to hide in it, that it's like the big change of March 2023 when Saturn and uh, and uh, Pluto are changing sign and with what I saw on Bitcoin, I always thought that the crash would come, or the crash that we saw in 2022 will come toward the 2020, and this will be the end of Bitcoin. But it's now, even that is did it before and into March, it went back to 30. This is not the end of Bitcoin by the, its end physically. It's the end of its, um, its uh, propaganda not just in the negative way um, compared to what was in the last decade because Bitcoin brought us to this place to understand the alternative to Federal Reserve money and all this but it's still not perfect it born with, Sat with Pluto in Capricorn we are now ready to see the new value of things and it can be a technology and it could be something that it will be even more surprise. I guess that it will be technology. And this is a hard one for all of us because wh when you don't have something to hold, what you are holding for, but this is exactly the invitation to hold into our... Um, Our soul, <laughs> you know, Saturn in Pisces and the last degrees of Neptune in Pisces, very advanced, Neptune in 26 degrees. And continue with what we know, but and not live apart because not everything is going to fall and things still will continue to have value. But how we continue to increase value is going to go to new layer and we need to be very open-minded this is what mercury in retrograde telling us be open-minded prepare for the innovation to come and there's going to be innovation from next month inside of the instabilities when mercury passing on uranus is going to be a big news about money and about options and also breakthrough in our life with ideas and solution fast solution to complicated things so right now we just need to hold uh, to hold up. We are between eclipses. Anyhow, it's not good time to jump on new projects or to start something new that will increase your adrenaline. 
Now is about still calm. The more bull you behave, not that stubborn. Okay, we should be stubborn in a way that you are, you know, they are pushing you and you are staying. You know, all the power, you know, they are fearing you and you are staying. Calm, like a bull. In that level, stubborn is good. You are not afraid. And just observing. Observing quickly, knowing that things are about to change and you are going to find the other needs and not just needs, the opportunities to take us forward. I think that that's the best way I could channel the overall energies for the collective and the markets for the upcoming um, week. And the next eclipse in Scorpio, lunar eclipse, is going to be uh, in May 5th. So, yeah, it's very, very heavy, specifically on me, because this eclipse is going to happen on 14 degrees. <laughs> Not just that the last weekend was a lot of angles with the 14 degrees, and my moon in Scorpio is in 14 degrees. It's going to happen eclipse on my moon. And this 14 degrees uh, also was activated by uh, uh, in 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 March with Jupiter and uh, and Chiron that met in 14 degrees. And I told you already that I felt very strong feelings, and somehow it came with also positive. Um, news, very different scenarios with things that I couldn't expect with how they happened and I still connect the dots because the thing that happened around this time for me was very significant and also for the collective now because it's going to be the same degree of the eclipse so we will need to be vigilant with what happened between the end of February and um, in May um, and of course, it came with the collapse of banks that started in March. Yeah, part of the deal. Uh, and Scorpio is also about speculative um, uh, investments and about the debt, the collective debt. And it's going to expose here a big secret that will be very hard to chew, probably. Like with the curly guy in last uh, November, and like with Solana and Luna that came surprised. Be good with yourself. We are vulnerable, vulnerable those days. This is lunatic time, and this is a lunar cycle that toward the lunar eclipse. Keep yourself calm. Let the water to adjust himself like a baby that ready to burn out of his mom. What is the mom? What is the womb that we are right now? Each one, according to the structure, he recognized or not recognized because it's very unconscious right now on in what womb we are. Big hug to all of you. Tomorrow uh, for the community, we are going to meet uh, for the oil and gold forecast. I'm going to declare right now, I said it already last week, from tomorrow, April 25th, I'm going to add uh, once a month a, a perspective about the S&P 500. I was asked for this for a long time, uh, years since I began, and I remain the S&P outside of this because it's needed a lot of observation to be more stable, but I'm very happy with the live chart result of S&P for a long time. Very little touches there uh, for the update, and this will be part of the highest tier benefit. And here you got it. So until tomorrow, big hug to all of you. Good week.